All right, pet owners, think about this. You've probably been here before. Your dog is missing. Here, buddy. Where are you? It's been hours. You're worried. Your family's concerned. It's scary. And that pup is nowhere to be found. Well, here's a possible solution. What if you could get a bird's eye view of the area that you're searching? Maybe see some spots that you couldn't see from here at the ground level. And let's put icing on that cake. Go one step further and use thermal imaging to help find your furry friend. It's actually happening right now. I want you to take a look at this video from Central Ohio. It's December and it is cold. Plus, a winter storm with sub-zero temperatures is moving in. Chief Todd May and his team at AFRS, Ohio's first robotic fire department, yes, that's a thing, get a distress call about two missing dogs and dispatched one of their high-tech drones. Well, in that case, the dogs were out for more than 24 hours. There was a lot of predators in the area. The dogs were scared. So the dogs were buried under a, a lot of thicket in a heavily wooded area. If it wasn't for the drone finding their thermal signature, the ground team of 12 individuals probably would have never found those, those pets. It's pretty amazing. Uh, the owner, she was, she was just ecstatic. And she had told us that there's no way we would have ever found those dogs if, if it wasn't for the drone. So it, it, felt, it felt really good. This is Cricket. Cricket, wake up. He's really, really shy. We would not have been able to get near him without salami and everything. And then this is Moko Jumbi. Moko, wake up. Say hello. And I am just so incredibly grateful that he found my dogs because we never would have found them without him. They would have died out there. There's no way that we would have gotten them back. I owe him everything because these dogs are my life. Further north in snowy Ottawa, Canada, a rescue dog named Birdie runs away after coming in from Taiwan. The dog had been on the run for six days. There had been sightings, but she would bolt any time she would see someone. Bring in Dawson Ross. He uses a drone as a hobby and volunteered to help. After days of searching, he sees prints in the snow and fast forward, finds the dog. She was skittish, so they ultimately used a trap to finally catch her and bring her to safety. And in Wisconsin, Matt Howell used his unmanned aircraft to find a dog. See the black spot in the thermal imaging? That is the dog, curled up. He zooms in and then sends the coordinates to the owner. GPS gets them right to the spot. Wait, 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 hold it right there. What you're saying is we could save so many people precious time and potential heartbreak by just equipping them with drones? In that case, why don't we just get an army of drones to find all the missing pets? Not so fast, says Don Wiley, a drone pilot. It's a useful tool. It's not going to be the, the total answer because it really does take a team effort. You're able to put an aircraft in the air and you get up about 100 feet. You get a nice broad view. You can see behind houses, beside houses as you're flying over. You can see farther out than somebody on the ground. Problem is, though, that even though you can see farther, you can't see under the cars. You get a tree. You can't see under the tree. You can't see in the shade. If you're looking for a dog, a lot of times they're going to be sitting under a tree in the shade. All right, I get it. You're probably wondering about your cat. Well, they're a little better at hiding than dogs, which unfortunately makes them harder to find. Not saying you can't find them, it has happened, but the chances are slimmer. And there's other limitations when it comes to using these drones. Well, for one, the battery life is relatively short, so you gotta keep putting it down on the ground and replacing the batteries or recharging it. There's also the issue with restricted airspace, places you can't fly like near airports or military bases. Plus on hot days like today, that thermal imaging, the heat seeking camera might not work as well because this pavement is warm, that grass is warm. And you know what? The pets are also warm. So everything looks about the same. That's a big problem, especially where we are shooting here in Florida. Yeah, there are some organizations working on AI technology to be able to specifically find humans using thermal. Now that technology is in its infancy, but we're very excited when that will be released. With respect to the drone capabilities, we can fly in the rain, we can fly in the snow, we can fly in freezing temps and up to 40 mile per hour winds. All in all though, the future is bright. Technology is only getting better 
and drones are getting easier to use. You could say the sky is the limit. <laughs> For Solutionaries, I'm Vic Michalucci. We'd like to hear what you think about the topic. Leave us a comment below. And be sure to subscribe to our Solutionaries channel. We're just getting started.